You know, there is a ton of technical information that you can find about skiing, you know. There's a lot of different stuff happening with physics, tangents to the arc, all of that sort of stuff. I often say that I probably would have done better in physics class in school had I skied a bit more often, but come to think of it, I did go skiing a fair bit anyways. But you know what? Here's a technical concept that I'm going to try to simplify for you, and if you can get your head around it, it'll make a huge difference in your skiing. This area right here, we call the center of mass. And the way that you release the center of mass into the turn dictates what happens to your skis underneath you. So come on with me and I'll show you what I mean. Here we go. So the physics that's happening here is at the start of the turn, my mass is released right here and then captured right there. So that release of the mass at the start of the turn comes from steering my feet underneath. They cross under, my mass crosses over. So I have the release of the mass at the top of the arc, and right here, the capture. Capture, just like that. So top of the arc, the mass crosses over the feet, the feet cross under, but then at the bottom of the arc, what I'm doing is I'm steering my feet back underneath me to capture the mass. See if you can visualize this. This is my center of mass. These are my feet right here. Start of the turn, I let the mass release down the hill. End of the turn, I steer my feet under to capture the mass right there. Hope that makes sense, but let's see it in a few more turns. Have a look at this here in slow motion. As I move into the top of the turn, my hips, that's pretty much the area where my center of mass is, that crosses over my feet, my feet cross underneath. Then as I move through the bottom part of the turn, look at how my feet catch my mass all the way through the bottom of the arc. So what does all this technical bumbo jumbo mean? You know, what does it do to your skis when you release your mass? Well, here's the thing. The quicker you release your mass down the hill, the faster your skis are going to unwind and move into the next turn. If you take your time releasing the mass and you move across the hill a little bit more, well, that's going to slow down how much your skis unwind. So let's try it in a few more turns here. So have a look at this here. The slower, like this, or faster, I release the mass, that's what dictates how my lower body unwinds down the hill. I hope that one works for you from beautiful Big White Ski Resort, Canada's favorite family resort in the Okanagan just outside Kelowna, BC. I'm Josh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>